Hello, my name is Paul Reynolds, and I'm one of the co-founders of Torch, an augmented reality platform that enables approachable spatial content creation for the enterprise. Torch enables product and marketing teams to build valuable AR experiences for a wide variety of use cases. In this video, we'll be showing a step-by-step -step equipment maintenance guide. The complete experience will be shown later in the video, but first, let's see how this content is created in real time. One of our key efficiencies is building the content on a mobile device. Using simple touch gestures and moving around the space, we can precisely place digital content in the physical world. For example, placing this arrow is just a matter of dragging it into place and pinching it down to the correct size. We're currently editing step two of the maintenance procedure, and we're going to add an interaction that will take the technician to step three. This ability to create interactions without writing any code is another powerful aspect of the Torch workflow. Next, we will add a new step to this maintenance procedure. To start, we're going to navigate into the already built step five scene and make a copy that will become step six. To update the scene with the step six instruction card, we perform a simple drag and drop to replace the asset, but keep all of the other object and scene properties intact. This includes interactions, so we'll need to update the interaction to ensure that it will take the technician to the correct next step. Fortunately, this is really easy to do. Then we can also quickly test to ensure everything is working correctly. Now that we've shown some of the key concepts used to build the experience, let's see the full application from the perspective of a field technician. Running the maintenance AR application, we start by looking around our space for equipment. And it looks like we're gonna detect this caffeine extractor has an issue that's taken it out of service. Let's start the procedure to get our machine quickly back into working function. We start off with a few safety checks. We can see here on the right hand side of the machine that there's an area that we need to keep clear, but there's a water pitcher that should be removed. Now that we've safely set up our environment, we can look at the next step. Helper annotations clearly illustrate that we need to push the open button and the door will swing out. Thankfully, we cleared that safety area. In the next step, we need to lift the filter basket out of the panel. Next, we are asked to open the basket and remove the filter. To ensure we do this correctly, let's watch this quick video helper to show us how it's done. According to the next step, we need to take the filter to another location. Since we're using augmented reality, the maintenance app is offering to guide me to the closest washing station. This contextual and environmental awareness is where AR really shines. Okay, we've returned from the washing station and it looks like we just need to put everything back together with the clean filter. Now everything is buttoned up, we just need to mark this issue resolved to let the backend systems know we have completed all of the steps. After an automatic diagnostics check, it looks like this equipment is back online. This was a simple demonstration of just one of the many things Torch can unlock the value of AR for the enterprise. Thank you for watching.